We need to change the way we treat the climate crisis. We need to change the way we speak about the climate crisis. And we need to call it what it is, an emergency. Many of us know something is wrong, that the planet is warming because of increased greenhouse gases. But we don't know the exact consequences of that. The vast majority know much less than we think. And this should be no surprise. We have never been shown the graphs which show how much the CO2 emissions need to be reduced for us to stay below the 1.5 degree limit. If we want to reduce global warming, we want to mitigate climate change, it is not going to happen by technological fixes. It is going to happen when we are prepared to have a new world view and a new way of life. The new world view has to be based in our relationship with the natural world. A relationship of respect and reverence. A reverential ecology or a spiritual ecology or a non-violent ecology where nature is not there for our use. There is an intrinsic value of nature. Right now, we're facing a man-made disaster of global scale. Our greatest threat in thousands of years, climate change. If we don't take action, the collapse of our civilizations and the extinction of much of the natural world is on the horizon. We're running an experiment which is to see what the CO2 capacity of the oceans and atmosphere is before Earth gets cooked. I, I don't think that's a wise experiment. That experiment, let's say that experiment is 99% likely to show that CO2 is no problem, but 1% likely to show that it's going to cook the planet. I don't think we want to take that 1% chance, it's just not smart. Um, given that oil and even coal are, are a finite resource, it doesn't seem to make sense that we would run that experiment when we have to get off them anyway, because they're simply finite. What we do now, and in the next few years, will profoundly affect the next few thousand years. We know what needs to be done. We know that our planet's future depends on a global commitment to permanently reduce greenhouse gas pollution. We know that if we put the right rules and incentives in place, we will unleash the creative power of our best scientists and engineers and entrepreneurs to build a better world. So let us begin. For if we are flexible and pragmatic, if we can resolve to work tirelessly in common effort, then we will achieve our common purpose. A world that is safer, cleaner, and healthier than the one we found, and a future that is worthy of our children.